Good. Hello, everybody. After this uh, long and very interesting technical session from Alfredo, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we see in terms of uh, mobile and uh, gaming applications, what are the trends and what are the solutions we offer. And after that, um, Bastien will uh, dig a little bit more in details uh, and technical details. So, as Alfredo did, I'm going to, to introduce myself a little bit. Um, my name is Christophe. I've been working in the cloud for about four years now. Um, I work on business development. I'm only 50% Italian. Um, this, this is what explains the fact that uh, I don't speak Italian uh, uh, today, uh, even if it's uh, one of my long-term goals. So, uh, sorry. Um, and uh, forgive me for that. This is my email address, so uh, if you need to uh, contact me, uh, do not hesitate, of course. Um, how many of you are now working or want to develop a mobile or gaming application? Can you raise your hands? Okay, so maybe, so let's say, 30% of uh, the attendance. Good. So th those are the, the, the trends that we see um, in, uh, in mobile. Um, what we see first is that we're seeing um, consolidation of uh, applications um, coming from uh, laptops go going mobile. So just to give you some examples, we have partners today that tell us they want to stop developing applications that uh, run on laptops and uh, they want to focus on applications built for uh, mobile devices. So this is one of the things. Um, in terms of um, trends, what we will also see is uh, development of uh, backends for mobile applications. Um, and I can tell it's, uh, it's taking a lot of energy, a lot of investment at Google Cloud Platform to enable you to, to use the Cloud Platform as a backend. So we are investing quite heavily on this, and uh, we'll talk about it also later. Monetization. This is something that is growing uh, very fast for all mobile apps. I will uh, also explain a little bit later how you can use Google solutions to monetize your apps, and you will see some examples. Um, also, apps um, powered by a backend, what we see is that uh, they are more engaging. Why? Because it enables to give more, more services to your users. Okay, it's different to uh, a static app. Um, because you have more interactions, and also you're able to push more services, more information, of course. Um, and of course, but you, you are, I think you, this is something you experience every day, uh, what we see is that usage uh, for mobile apps is growing very fast. So this is the value proposition we, um, we bring to you, we bring to our partners for our mobile app applications. First, meet your needs, what we do with Cloud Platform, um, and uh, you may see, have seen this. What we bring is uh, te different technology bricks and technology layers to enable you to focus on your application. Uh, the idea is that you get rid of the heavy lifting and you let Google um, uh, manage and run it for you. Uh, start easily. So um, developing and running an application on App Engine, for instance, is very easy. You can keep using development tools you are used to. Uh, upload your code in App Engine and have App Engine run it for you and, for instance, manage scalability for you. Pay as you go. Um, this is uh, also something which is very inter interesting for startups. So, as I said before, we offer um, free quotas. Um, and this free quota enables you, for instance, to make your developments, to start testing, start having the f the f your first users. And um, you will start paying when you experience success. That is the idea, actually. So uh, you can launch a lot of applications. Um, maybe you will fail. But as we say, uh, you can fail. You can fail often, but you, uh, you can fail fast. Uh, and so at some point in time, you will succeed. And then um, you will start paying. So uh, you can take the risk. Um, I last week, I was uh, in San Francisco. We took some customers. Uh, to visit our, um, our briefing center. And there was somebody from Google who was working on our internal project. He said that 80% um, of uh, innovative ideas fail. So I think 
cloud platform is a good platform to, uh, to start in and to test innovations. You can fail. It doesn't really matter because uh, for this, it, it won't cost a lot. Distribution, very important as well, in particular for, as I said, um, new kind of applications. Um, because with distribution, you can uh, bring new services, uh, like push, for instance. Um, I mentioned focus on your app. Uh, the idea is to benefit from uh, the right environment and also uh, self-managed environment to, uh, to, to fuel your application and grow fast. You never know when you are going to meet uh, success, uh, as soon as possible, of course. But when you meet success, uh, then maybe you will uh, jump from uh, 1,000 users to uh, 1 million. And then you need to uh, build on a platform that is going to scale. So App Engine is um, the, from my point of view, right solution to uh, enable, to, di to deliver a dynamic content, uh, mobile applications, and gaming uh, to million or billion uh, users. Um, what we think at Google is that when you launch an application, uh, you must have in mind that uh, it has to be designed and it has to be ready to serve one billion people. Uh, this is why we have designed App Engine. Um, and I think um, you can uh, really bet on this uh, platform um, and use it uh, du during the, the whole uh, life cycle of your application. To give you another example, App Engine is the application, uh, the platform that we use for uh, our internal portal. So most of Google applications today run on uh, App Engine. So this is what uh, we have seen today in terms of uh, what is necessary for our mobile uh, application. First, as I said, it has to scale without efforts. So um, it means you don't have to hire new people to manage routers, servers, cables, that kind of thing. It has to be easy to use, as I said. No more staff. Uh, you need high performance. So high performance means uh, high service level agreements, um, also um, ability to uh, launch new VMs, to make the request, uh, for instance, when uh, uh, you need to scale. Um, and also, you need a pricing model that is going to be aligned on uh, your, the activity of your business, OK? About those two last points, oops. Um, High performance services, service lever agreements, and pricing. Um, you can launch App Engine, of course, going to uh, cloud.google.com. But if you're interested to have uh, a higher level of support, um, you can also contact us on the website and ask to have uh, more support. We offer a different kind of uh, support. Um, there is the, let's say, um, default support, which is uh, called Bronze. We also have uh, uh, silver, gold, and platinum. So for instance, if you want to launch uh, a new business critical application, uh, you, may want, you may be interested to have 24 hour by seven support. Okay, so this is the service we offer. Just go on the website. Cloud storage can be used as well to, um, for instance, for static games. So um, if you want to launch a game that users uh, will upload, you can simply use uh, cloud storage. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's uh, REST uh, API based. Um, you will experience low latency and low cost. Why low latency? Because it's based on the, um, it's so based in using uh, Google Network, which is one of the biggest networks uh, and biggest private networks in the world. Something we see uh, more and more is. Uh, analytics for mobile and uh, gaming applications. Um, how many of you are already using analytics for uh, applications? Can you, uh, can you raise your hands? OK, so a little bit less than uh, people interested in mo mobile apps. Um, what we see, for instance, in gaming is the fact that uh, our partners are interested to understand what is the behavior of their, of their users. Uh, how far they go in the different level of the games, 
uh, when they buy, wh when they make uh, what is called in-app purchasing. So the idea is to uh, is that you are able to um, link what your customers are doing, what they are experiencing, and when they are buying, for instance, new 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 weapons in a game. So using analytics, it's very easy, it's very fast to link this information and to make decisions. So for instance, at a certain level in a game, shall I make things a little bit easier so that my players can move forward? To manage and to perform analytics, you can use di different um, solutions. First one is Google Analytics. And also, we offer BigQuery. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Uh, so BigQuery is a fast uh, request tool. And you can also run um, Hadoop and MapReduce either on Compute Engine or on App Engine. Uh, mo for mobile apps, um, another trend is the fact of providing um, personalized applications. So we offer um, user APIs, which enable you to uh, authenticate, uh, authenticate your users in order to give them uh, personalized content. And you can also use cloud endpoints um, uh, to deliver services. Google accounts, they can be linked with user APIs. And you can also, of course, use Google Play to deliver your applications and also to monetize your application. Push notifications, of course, they are very important to deliver uh, new information, new services. Uh, what's important to have in mind is that with the cloud platform, um, you can do it for, of course, Android and also for iOS applications. And what we also see is that more and more applications need uh, to use uh, geolocation. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, we offer Google Maps and we, you, you have the search API, which enables you to integrate maps in your mobile application. Another service which is part of cloud platform that you may not have heard about, it's uh, Google Translate. So Google Translate, as its, its name uh, indicates, enables to translate uh, very fast um, text. So it's like Google Translate on the web, um, but you can use it using an API to translate um, what's in your application, what's on a website. It's used for by a lot of um, uh, websites in travel, for instance. Google Play, uh, I think you, are all, uh, you all know Google Play, so very easy uh, to deliver applications, to monetize um, your applications. So this is uh, a simple presentation, synthetic presentation of Cloud Platform that Umberto presented before. Um, the two main components are Compute Engine, so this is infrastructure as a service, Somebody asked a question before about location, so uh, I think Roberto told it, but I want to really to emphasize this point. Um, with co Compute Engine, App Engine, and also the other services, you can locate your application, your data, in the European Union. More precisely, it's based in Belgium. And there are also two other uh, services which are um, important, Cloud Storage, Cloud SQL, and there is also a new one uh, that was announced at I.O. in uh, about one month ago, uh, which is Cloud Data Store, which is a NoSQL uh, no uh, uh, database. Okay, and some other services, and Bastien will cover that later. So this is uh, an example of um, a mobile um, gaming architecture we can, uh, we can implement. So as you see, the idea is with cloud endpoints is that you bring applications for iOS uh, and Android. With cloud endpoints and globally using cloud platform as a mobile backend, um, you can concentrate on developing um, uh, the clients for iOS and Android. All the rest is managed by uh, cloud platform. So it can be uh, App Engine, and you can also use sub features of App Engine like uh, scheduling tasks, queues, for instance. And you can also use Compute Engine to deliver, as I said before, uh, analytics and big data. Uh, for instance, running Hadoop, if you want to make statistics on your users and what they are doing. 
Okay, and you can also use BigQuery uh, for fast SQL requests. So this is another uh, example. Um, the idea is that you can use cloud platform, you can use the different bricks to build the right architecture for your game or your mobile app. S some customer uh, stories, so Pulse, actually they were bought uh, maybe one month ago by LinkedIn. Uh, Pulse have used um, cloud platform, Umberto mentioned it before, and they were able to cope with a very huge increase in terms of users. Philips, um, they have launched a new product. It's a bulb, uh, um, bulb LED product. And you can use a, a mobile application, which is here, uh, to manage the, the light in your house. So for instance, if you went on holidays to, I don't know, uh, Capri, and you like the picture there and the light, uh, you can upload the picture, and then the light, the bulbs, uh, will deliver the same light that you had on the beach uh, wh where you went. Um, it was sold in Apple stores in the US uh, about Christmas. It was a huge success. Every, all of them were sold. Uh, and this app runs on uh, App Engine, actually. Some other examples. Um, uh, this company, I think they're based in Sweden. Those guys are based in France. Uh, those ones may be in the US. Uh, the idea also is that if you run an application on App Engine, it enables you to, to be global very fast. And I think you can also use the other services from Google, like Google Plus um, or social network, uh, to talk about your, uh, your application uh, and to increase market awareness. Okay, so in a nutshell, we, we are happy to help you uh, perform different things. First, reduce time to market. We think that using App Engine, you can reduce the time and also the cost to deliver your mobile app by 30%. Uh, because, as I said before, um, all, all the mobile and the gaming backend is already uh, prepared. You can start for free. So uh, if you have uh, Python, PHP, Java, Go, go to uh, cloud.google.com and start, and start using it. It's, it will be free. Focus on apps, of course. Be ready for scale and pay as you go. So as a conclusion, um, we are happy to have you uh, test Cloud Platform. Uh, we think it's uh, the right architecture for developers. So. Uh, Test it and get, come back to us. Tell us uh, you have had my email. Uh, tell us what, uh, what you have experienced. Um, you can focus on your app. And also, what we want to bring to you is uh, the R&D and the innovation from Google. For about 15 years, we've been working on uh, our platforms. They, they power, um, of course, Google.com. They power YouTube. Um, and we're continuously working on them on performance, of course, but on security. Um, and you will be able to benefit from all this R&D over the time. Um, do you have some questions? Otherwise, I'm going to talk a little bit about monetization. So this user API is uh, linked with uh, is linked with a Google account. Yes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about monetization. Are you familiar with monetization? No. So the idea is uh, that with cloud platform, you can build your application, you can run your application, you can store your data, you can analyze the data. But at some point in time, depending on the application you want to launch, you may also be interested to make money. OK, um, so this, this is uh, also some services that Google provide, uh, how to help our partners monetize and make money, of course. So those are some examples of, of our partners and customers. Uh, the idea is that for an app developer, um, you can make money doing different things. You can advertise or monetize, and you can make sales um, or make transactions, in a way. Okay. So uh, if you want to advertise, it can be in-app advertising, it can be search, it can be on display. 
Uh, and for sales, uh, you can sell of virtual goods, um, you can sell physical goods, okay? What's important also is that those two sectors are gr growing fast and growing a lot. So you see the, the growth plus 360%, plus 160%, uh, till uh, from 2012 to 2016. So it's really interesting for you, if you're a, uh, uh, as a developer, to have a look also at monetization. Google offers several services and products to monetize uh, and to make transactions. So um, we offer uh, what's called DFP, uh, double click for publishers, uh, double click ad exchange, we also offer AdMob. So AdMob is the fact of putting advertising on a mobile application. And for sales, you can use the Google Play and Google Wallet. And we also offer carrier billing uh, for some other purpose. So uh, yes, in-app display um, is probably what we are interested in today. Uh, the idea is that you put advertising in, uh, in the app, of course, okay? So um, the idea is that the advertising is embedded in the, in the mobile application. Uh, and then the business model is based around the fact that the um, monetization will be done either on a cost per click, so the ad is displayed on the, on the application, and when a, a user clicks on the ad, then you will receive money or it can also be used on a cost, cost per mile, uh, that is to say when 1,000 people look at your ad, then you monetize and you get money. Okay, so some kind of uh, uh, typical applications for this uh, can be, of course, gaming. So for instance, in France, uh, we have a partner that is using cloud platform, they're called Magma Mobile. Um, what they make, is they, that ma they, make, they only make free gaming. I think for the last three years, they have launched about 50 games, uh, and they make money with, with this. Cost per click and cost per, per mile. Okay, there are quite simple games, kind of games you play in the metro or when you don't know what to do. Um, but using this uh, AdMob, it's uh, very efficient. So just to give you an example, um, yes, let's take uh, an app. They have uh, once uh, they show the ad 100,000 times. Uh, they have a click-through rate of 1.5 percent, which is not a lot. Uh, it gives them 1,500 clicks, and um, what they uh, get in terms of cost is um, or price is uh, 0 0.10 dollar. It will bring them 150 dollars of revenue. So you see if, of course, you're able to increase the number of impressions, if you have other mobile or gaming applications, you can grow the revenue significantly. So we have some uh, customers that are able to make uh, some millions of euros in terms of revenue using monetization. This is an example, a um, company called LevUp Studio. Uh, it's a small company, it's a developer company. There are four people. Um, they sell, uh, yes, uh, gadgets like this, um, and they've been, uh, they've been able to make uh, uh, $1 million uh, of revenue uh, selling their, 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 sm their small apps, okay? They were sold um, about $2 on Google Play. So this gives an idea of uh, how you can benefit from the scale of Google Play and uh, of App Engine, and also uh, our solution in terms of monetization. Uh, so, the idea is quite simple. If you want to enable mo monetization, uh, you need to determine your business model. You can use Google Play, um, and then you can either advertise or make sales. And actually, you can make both. We have some customers that make transactions, they sell physical uh, goods for, for some time, and they also monetize. So at some point, if you experience the fact that the customer uh, may, not buy, may not buy a product, uh, you can decide to send uh, uh, ads in order to make money on the ads part. 
So in terms of uh, implementation, the idea is that first you open an AdMob account. You, you can do it on the, our website, of course. Uh, you create your app entry within the platform. There is an AdMob SDK. And you have to integrate the AdMob in the SDK in your app. Uh, and there is a, what we call an ad unit that uh, you must put in the code of your app, and you're ready to go. We have um, a team in uh, Italy, of course, in Milan, uh, where Alfredo and Umberto are based. And we also have um, a, a team that is um, focused on monetization and transaction. So actually, Maurizio could not be here today. But if you have more questions on how to monetize uh, your apps, you can contact him. OK, so um, thank you. I don't know if you have any more questions. No question? Bastien? Alfredo? Thank you, everybody.